Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm holding some new hair products here. They are by Fish. Um, I've never actually used this brand before, but they sent me these products uh, just to see what I thought of them. So I thought I'd give them a go on camera, kind of show you guys how I'm gonna use them and kind of give a very honest review as well about what I think about them. Um, so yeah, I've got here a mold, medium hold shape defining wax. Looks like this. Um, I have a pliable styling fiber and a medium hold pliable spray wax. So I've never heard of that before, so it'd be really cool to kind of see how that works and how exactly you use that. And then finally, I have a matte styling gel. I love using gel on my hair when it's wet because once you've dried that through, it's kind of a lot easier to control your hair and shape your hair. So what I might do is um, I might actually use two together. Otherwise, this video can go on forever. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pliable styling fiber with the styling gel. Okay, so my hair is dried through and I've got to mention the hairstyle I'm gonna do is just my everyday hairstyle, which is kind of like a push back messy pompadour, I suppose. I don't really know, it's something. But I'm gonna start with the matte styling gel. So the first product I'm gonna start off with is the Super Fish Fish Glue. Uh, matte styling gel. Now usually, and you've seen before, apply gel to wet hair, but with this kind of everyday hairstyle I have, I want a little bit more texture, and I want it to be a little bit drier, so applying that gel to the um, already dry hair, it's just going to dry out that little bit more and give you that bit more extra texture and hold. So yeah, let's have a look. I'm gonna just go for it. Oh, it's white! It's like a cream. I thought it was going to be like clear, like a normal gel. Smells good. It smells really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that and rub that in my, that's so weird. It's weird in a good way. Um, you know gel, when you um, rub it through your hands, it's usually clear and then it gets like a little bit sticky, uh, but it still has that like watery texture. This gel is obviously not clear, it's white like a cream. It smells incredible and it isn't that sticky either and has like a really nice water-based kind of texture to it and it goes through the hair so easily and so well. I obviously have black hair and I usually have a lot of problems with white products as they just show up in my hair a lot. But as you can see, this hasn't really done anything. It hasn't showed up in my hair. But yeah, this is perfect. It hasn't gone through. And to be quite honest with you, so that's quite a good base on its own actually. If you, if you don't want a lot of hold and you just want something a bit more natural looking, that's quite a cool thing to do. But I'm gonna run the hair dryer through it now. Uh, just get that extra bit dry and textured. And I'm just gonna use my hands, I'm not gonna use a brush because again, I just want that texture. So that is dried through, and as you can see, there's just a little bit more texture. Not much, I mean, I think this gel is so different to gel I've used before, I haven't got quite the same result that I'm used to. Not in a bad way at all, um, it's just quite a nice natural look rather than that dry, choppier look that I'm used to with a gel. But now I'm gonna take the medium hold fish fiber pliable styling fiber. Um, what are the directions on this? So this has a matte natural style with added hold and natural and defined finish, which is, yeah, exactly what I'm after. Ooh, that's a lot harder than I, it's quite, I'm having a bit of trouble getting in here. <laughs> to soften that up a bit, give it a little bit of a massage. <laughs> so I'm guessing you don't need much of this purely because of the texture of it. I think I'm gonna have problems with this because of my black hair, like just rubbing this in. This is because I want that messy texture, I'm just gonna go through the back first to get that volume, mess it up, and then just brush it all back. I always kind of like flip sides, whenever I do this I never know where to have my hair going that way or that way, just kind of ends up however it ends up. Oh no, that's good! I really like that. So I thought I was gonna have problems with this because it's kind of really sticky, very very white and didn't rub in my hands that well, but... As you can see, all of my concerns <laughs> are gone because it's gone. It's rubbed right in. Um, it's got amazing hold, like really, really good hold. Um, really good hold, actually. Smells incredible. I can smell it now. That smells really, really good. And it's remoldable as well. Usually, I have problems with remoldable products because they don't actually hold the hair initially, so you don't get that great hold. Um, but it's holding really, really well. Yeah, really well. And I do like reworkable products, I think, especially when you, if you're working in the day, if you've been quite active in the day, your hair can get a little bit messed up, whether you spray it or not. My hair has a tendency to go into a middle parting for no reason. So reworkable products are really good for 
reworking throughout the day, but also carrying with you and just topping up every now and then when your hair just needs that little bit of restyling. Um, really impressed with that. Really, really impressed with that. I mean, I'll have to try this product on its own as well, maybe with a volume mousse or even applying it through wet hair if I kind of want like a more sleeked back kind of natural look too. I'm really happy with that. I think favorite product so far, and I've only tried two, but is the gel. I'm just really, really surprised that it looks like more of a cream. So that is those two products done. Again, I'm glad I kind of use them together because that is my normal hair routine. Um, but yeah, I will have to try them apart, but I love them. I love them so far. So I'm going to go wash my hair again. Then next up, we are going to try the shape defining wax. Okay, so hair is dry. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna use the Fish Fingers <laughs> oh, um, Medium Hold Shape Defining Wax. Let's take a look. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm, it looks like that. Now, I always have problems with wax. This is so soft. This is really soft. It feels really good. It says take a pea-sized amount. Um, it's always good to start off with a little bit of product because you could always build up on that. So I'm just gonna rub that between my fingers. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I was having a bit of a problem with wax because my hair is so thick. It doesn't really, wax isn't strong enough. It doesn't have like enough density to kind of hold my hair in shape. So I'm just gonna work this through the roots pulling up because I need that volume in my hair. Smells incredible. I like that. Um, I've just kind of kept it quite slicked back and um, not too voluminous. But that looks so natural. Usually you find that wax will leave a really high shine, a really unnatural oily finish in your hair. But this is so, so there's a mirror here. That's kind of why I'm looking over here. It's still kind of like got that really natural shine to it. It hasn't added any extra shine. It just hasn't taken away from the natural shine of my hair. Smells really good, I know I keep saying that, but um, it's worth just picking this up and giving it a good sniff if you ever see it, and buying it of course. No, I'm really happy with that. I would now spray my hair with hairspray just to lock that in place, but I kind of don't want to because I don't want to take away that kind of natural shine that's left. What I do is I'll, I'll take this with me, it's only tiny as well so it can fit my backpack. Um, and just top it up every so often. It's got really good hold to it. I mean, unless you're out in crazy wind or you're shaking your head for some reason, um, this is gonna hold for quite a long time. It says medium hold. Um, I feel like it's a little bit above medium hold. Like definitely in my hair, like I said, any hair product that can actually hold my hair without me having to layer it in hairspray is really, really good. So I'm really impressed with this one. I really, really like this one. Yeah, I don't wanna wash my hair now. <laughs> I've got one more product to try. Um, which I'm really excited about. I've never used a sprayable wax, so we're gonna see how this works out. I'm gonna try and figure out how to use it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hair, and then we're gonna be trying out the pliable spray wax. Okay, my hair is dry, blow dried through, um, and I'm gonna be using this Flexi Fish Medium Hold Pliable Spray Wax. I'm kind of nervous, but really exciting. I've never used a spray wax, or even heard of a spray wax. It says to apply to dry hair. Shake well before use. Hold Flexi Fish 30 centimeters away from the head and spray evenly onto dry hair, avoiding roots. Avoiding roots, okay. For extra texture, divide hair and spray onto section styling as you go. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of where I need the most lift. What? Oh, that well, smells good, but I it sprayed a bit much there. I just realized I said avoiding roots and I'm spraying it directly onto my roots. So let's stop that. Do you know what? I'm just gonna spray this like a hairspray and kind of run it through. Maybe I'm using too much, I don't know. Whoa! This is giving me a lot of volume already. It's quite cool to be able to spray it, then um, work as you go. It's almost like a hairspray, but pliable. You know when you spray a hairspray, and that means it's that, like your hair will not move once you spray that hairspray. This is like that, but reworkable. So I, I would describe this like a reworkable hairspray. It's obviously a hair wax, but that's kind of the only way I can describe it. I'm really happy with the hold, like I'm really happy with that. It has added a little bit more shine, but nothing crazy like a normal wax would give you. Um, just holding up. <laughs> yeah, I think before using this, I think I would usually have a little bit more volume on a day off, so I would maybe use a mousse. 
um, on wet hair then dry that through and then use this as a finishing product. But I really really like that, I mean even though I didn't put the mousse in I can just spray it right now like with hairspray and that's sorted. But yeah, if I now I know how to use this product and I know the effect it gives and exactly what it does, um, I will spray that through after using a mousse and drying that through. I don't know what else to say, I'm really happy about that. I was really excited about this product because the novelty of it is kind of fun and um, I've never used one before. And this is the first time ever using fish products and I have to say I am really pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I say pleasantly, like I thought it was going to be bad. I mean, these guys have been around for years and a lot of my friends who are hairdressers know of this brand and have used this brand. I see it in nearly every hair salon. Um, in the pharmacies, everywhere, and I don't know why I haven't used it before. I don't know, I, I, I just never picked it up. I mean, it's really affordable, it's super affordable, and I know some of you guys were saying that the products I usually use are a little bit too pricey. So yeah, I feel like uh, Fish is a great affordable alternative without sacrificing the quality as well. I mean, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna definitely be adding these three into my daily routine. Um, Obviously not all at once, but as of when I need them. I'm also really happy that I found a gel that isn't sticky, isn't like that old 90s kind of style gel that leaves your hair very crisp and also dries out your scalp. And this wax I'm just really impressed with because it gave me volume um, and hold that other waxes don't ever give me. And then of course this one is just really really fun. Again for a wax it gave me hold and I just think it's a great novelty. But yeah I, I like kind of spraying that and being able to spray it and rework the hair at the same time. I thought that was like that's something I've never found in a product before so I'm really really happy about that. There was nothing wrong with this product but I think my hair is very very thick so I found it a little bit difficult to work through and it's quite long at the moment but this is perfect if you have like shorter hair and you like that more texture in your hair. I mean this is a great alternative to your paste, your gums, um, your clays, all that kind of stuff. I feel like this is a great all-in-one. But yeah, that was it. That was um, my product kind of review, tried and tested fish products. Like I said, really really happy with those. I'm going to try and find out where you can buy them and link you all underneath. Let me know if you guys have tried these products before, if you tried something by the same brand. I would now love to try out more products by them because I'm so, so impressed with those. I was actually low on all my other hair products, so they have come at the perfect time. But I love doing this kind of video. I've done a video on budget hair products, which I'm going to put here for you. They're just ones that you can find on the high street, all for roughly under $5, five pounds. A lot of you guys have suggested other brands that I review, so hopefully I will be doing them soon. A little of them are a little bit pricey, guys, so um, I just have to wait till payday to get those. But if you do have any other brands that you think I should try out, please leave it all in the comments below. Um, as usual, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thumbs up if you liked it, so I know to do this kind of video again. Uh, check out all my grooming videos as well for more hair tips, hairstyling tips. But that's it for now. I will see you soon.